Beneath the hustle and bustle of Pennsylvania Avenue remains a beacon of an era come and past. Here lies the abandoned city branch line of the original Reading Railroad Company. In the mid-1850s, the Reading Company was looking for a way to access Center City Philadelphia via the railways. After purchasing several lines in Philadelphia, they were finally successful in doing so. The way Broad Street and the Parkway used to look back in the mid to late 1800s is pretty much unrecognizable from its current state. Railroad lines used to run across at street level, with as many as three at one point running across Broad and Noble Streets. Traffic and congestion became a huge problem for the city. So much so that in 1893, the fathers of the city demanded action to be taken by the railway companies. In order for the Reading Railroad to expand and build more terminals, the fathers required them to fix the traffic problem while keeping the tracks relatively out of sight so as to not take away from the aesthetic of the entrance of Fairmount Park. The Reading Company had a solution build tracks underground. Thus began the process of building the tracks underneath Pennsylvania Avenue. Starting in 1897, the tunnel was a project that required a ton of labor. It was made not by cutting out a tunnel with a bore, but by digging out a trench, building the arches, and then covering that back up with the earth. The vents that can be seen here were implemented as a way to release the steam generated by the steam-powered locomotives. After finishing the tunnel in 1900, the tunnel was in operation for approximately 84 years, shipping commercial goods for various city establishments, including the Philadelphia Inquirer. After the Reading Terminal closed in 1984, the deconstruction process slowly began to take place up until the point in which the tunnel currently stands.